Hi children, I am Teacher Joy. Today is Friday and our lesson for today is about writing a composition. So I want you to prepare your book English 6, You and Me. So but before we start our lesson, let us pray and I want Novi Joy to lead the prayer. Let us pray. Lord, our God, in your wisdom and love, you surround us with the mysteries of the universe. Send your spirit upon the students and fill them with your, with your wisdom and blessings. Grant that they may devote themselves to their studies and draw ever closer to you, the source of all knowledge. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Okay, thank you, Novi Joy, for leading the prayer. So let us be seated. So I want. Uh, so let me know who is absent for today. Okay, there is no absent. Very good. Today, let us talk about planning a composition using an outline and other graphic organizer. But first. Let me ask you a question. What is a composition? Anyone? What is a composition in your own? How do you write a composition? Anyone? Yes? Yes, very good. A composition is an intellectual creation such as a piece of writing. For example, a poem, song, letter, story, AC, and so much more. That is an example of a composition writing. So it is very important to note that before we are going to write down anything for a composition, we should have always, uh, we should have a way of brainstorming. So what is a brainstorming? Anyone? Anyone in the class? What is a brainstorming? Yes? Okay, very good. So, a brainstorming, it is, a called, uh, it is called a pour out ideas from your brain to write in your paper. That is brainstorming. So, you're not going to write a composition right away because you might end up erasing things. So, you, you should have a brainstorming first. In the brainstorming, some graphic organizer might be very useful. So today, we will discuss about some examples of graphic organizer so that we can write a writing composition. Okay, get your book in English 6. Open your box and page 60. 63. So, uh, read the selection about lesson, a lesson 10 plans by Helen Taylor Abdulaziz. So, uh, let's read the selection about plants. So, plants are necessary for life. All living things need plants because plants provide people with food during photosynthesis. Plants change the sun's energy into food. During photosynthesis, plants change the sun's energy into food. Plants are carbon dioxide and produce oxygen. All human beings and animals need oxygen to live. Roots usually grow underground. They help keep the plant in the soil. They also absorb water and minerals from the soil and carry them to the other parts of the plant. In some plants, such as carrots or potatoes, the roots store food for the plants. Plant stems are usually above the ground. They hold the leaves and flowers. There are two kinds of stem. The stems of many herbs and vegetables are soft and green. They bend easily. These plants live for only a year. They are annual plants. Other plants have hard and woody stems. Trees have brown woody stems. They are 
perennial plants, they live for several years. So, anyone to continue the uh, reading selection, volunteer, I need to volunteer to the second parag uh, sentence and to the last uh, paragraph. Okay, you may continue. Okay, very good. Thank you for continuing the reading selection. So, for your activity, get one whole sheet of paper. And I want you to make a Venn diagram on this reading selection. So, before that, I want you to know that this is an example of a uh, composition writing. Okay. We have another example of a writing composition entitled The Life Cycle of Rags. May I call Novi Joy to read The Life Cycle of Rags? The Life Cycle of Rags. Amphibians are animals that spend their lives in the two distinct places. They begin their lives in the water, they move on to land where they make their homes. The frog is an amphibian. The female frog lays hundreds of eggs in a fresh shallow water. The eggs are covered and protected by a gelatin-like coating. In a, new few, in a few days, the eggs hatch into larvae. The larvae breath by means of gills like the fish. They live on the yolk of the egg from which they come from. Soon the larva become tadpoles. The tadpoles break through gills and leaves in the water and its toe, long, long tail gives it a fish-like appearance. As the tadpole grows, the tail gradually disappears and its head legs appear. The gills are replaced by long and short front legs take shape. With two pairs of legs and with lungs finally develop, the tadpole becomes an adult frog. It moves into land. The frog may live near the water but will not and cannot make its home in the water. Okay, very good. Thank you for reading the life cycle of frogs. And now, we will have an example of a graphic organizer. It is called a diagram. This type of basic cycle diagram is used to show life's process. So you, you have to understand that a frog would start beating an egg and then it will become a larva and then a tadpole and then it become an adult frog which will eventually lay eggs. We are going to use another graphic organizer which is called Venn diagram. Uh, this type of graphic organizer is very useful to write your composition writing. Venn diagram is very is useful to compare ideas. For example, like this, we are making a Venn diagram. Suppose you are going to talk about children's pastime today and yesterday. For today, I will be thinking of computer and mobile games, social media, movies, TV show, and other films. And for yesterday, I am very familiar with outdoor games and then those indoor games that we played before. Picnic, chit-chatting with my neighbors. Now with those ideas that I have written down in my diagram, I have come up with a composition like this. For your second activity, I want you to draw a Venn diagram. So open your book on page 186 and answer the activity B. Using the Venn diagram, compare your physical traits with that of your parents. In the inner portion of the circle, write your traits that are similar. In the outer portion, write your traits differences. For your activity 3, make your own writing composition from your Venn diagram in the activity 2. Okay class. You just have to remember to use the ideas that you have noted down in the graphic organizer in writing a composition. 
Another topic that we are going to discuss is about outlining. Outlining is used to organize ideas by listing points. So in this way, you are going to organize your thoughts. This is an example of outlining, which is my most unforgettable experience. For your last activity, you are going to make an outline from this example. So what is your experience? What makes it unforgettable? After that, you are going to write a composition from your outline. Like for this example, I will be asking myself for the first paragraph, what is your experience? Suppose that I am going to talk about me going to Seven Seas Resort. Then, I enjoy the slides and pools with my family. For the second paragraph, what makes me it unforgettable? It is my first time to visit the place. I celebrated my 12th birthday in the Seven Seas. So, with the ideas that I outlined, I came up with a composition like this. My most unforgettable experience. So that is all about for outlining. So class, your activity 5 is your assignment. So you are going to read the story about the challenge. After reading the story, you have learned about the traits of the two main characters. Using Venn diagram on page 147, compare and contrast the two. Write on the inner portion of circle their similarities and on the other portion their differences so from your venn diagram in activity 5 use it in making a composition writing so that's all about our topic okay class goodbye see you on monday